Hello, my name is David Wheeler, and I play underwater hockey. So this is the puck we use for underwater hockey. It's lead, pretty heavy, and with Teflon coated uh, edges so that it slides along the bottom of the pool. And this is the stick that we use. So you push the puck along the bottom of the pool like this until you score a goal. So what I'm going to tell you about today is the an incident that happened to me when I was in college. Uh, I was able to participate in an underwater wedding. So one of my friends you know, talked to Skin Diver magazine and they agreed to sponsor a wedding and write it up in an article about it. So the wedding was underwater uh, and it was in the early days of technology. Uh, they had a microphone in their mask where they could talk to one another, talk to the priest, uh, and they got married underwater. So after the wedding, we were able to, we had some time to go scuba diving, uh, so we went off the boat, and everything was going fine, having a great time diving, except I breathed in some water and started to choke. So one of the things that you learn in scuba diving is you always have a buddy. And I was swimming with a buddy, but I looked around and couldn't find him. So I panicked and went to the surface. Uh, fortunately, everything worked out okay, uh, but I learned a few things. First is you always swim with a buddy, but you always have to know where that buddy is. And then when we were trained for scuba diving, we were taught that if there's an emergency situation, what you do is you take off your weight belt and hold it in your hand so that if you pass out, you'll float to the surface. I failed to do this in that emergency situation. So I went to the pool and practiced taking off the belt and holding it in my hand over and over again until it became automatic. So I learned that if you want something to be automatic, you practice it over and over again. Now, when I do my daily workout, I practice diving to the bottom of the pool. In underwater hockey, you want to get to the bottom as fast as possible. So, what I do is jackknife, flex my feet, extend my arm over, <laughs> arms over my head, and then do one dolphin kick as I pull my left arm down. And with that one stroke, um, I am down to the bottom of the pool, and I'm able to attack the puck as quickly as possible. So the importance of repeated practice can also be shown uh, by the experience that Michael Phelps had in the, night, in the 2008 Beijing Olympics. In the 200-meter butterfly, his goggles filled up with water in the last hundred meters. So that's like halfway through the race. But he had repeated this race so many times in practice that he was able to do the strokes without being able to see and he ended up getting the gold medal even without being able to see. So the lessons I've learned are to practice things repeatedly so they are automatic and to always swim with a buddy and know where that buddy is. Okay, have a great day.